Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry 3. And once you knew it, I was right. Oh god. Yeah. I made it on the time that I turned the camera off. Pretty open and shut, in fact. But where the fuck are we going? Here. Oh man, I was just here, man. Where did this take me? It took me the opposite way. Why don't we go here? We'll, go, we'll cut through the woods. You know? That way I'm not going back to the same spot. How much monies do I have? I have $400. Eh, I could buy two skins. That was an SMGs, I think. Sure was. Alright. Nine dollar -y dues to my name. Alright, let's hustle. See, I've run out of um, things to raid. Oh man, could there be a Viking Far Cry? They did one that was Cavemen's. Viking would be pretty logical, I think. Because then you'd just be raiding villages, you know? But yeah, in case it wasn't obvious that there was a second island uh, to players any earlier, um, if you fucked around on the main quest before they mentioned that there's a second island, you finish all the, uh, all the things on this island, and then your the, the quest book is all, like, half done. It's honestly kind of a weird twist. I'm not even sure if I should call it a twist, that there's a second island. Because sometimes it's, like, twists are things like Virgil being Nero's father. Jesus. Or, uh, um, to talk about an LP that I've done, uh, Corvo being Emily's dad. Like, pretty much everyone saw it, and, like, even the people who didn't see it saw where other people were coming from. And, like, the next game in the series just outright says it. And, like, are those things twists? Maybe. And, like, so is, is it a twist that this thing is a second island? I don't know. Oh, man. I hate finding body armor because I've always paid for body armor. And so I'm never used to getting it free. It's so rare to get it free. Screw pine. All right, and then we'll bank around here. I love seeing the uh, the pathways from really high up. That's very satisfying to me. I'm pretty sure I'll lose velocity, so I don't want to turn too hard, too fast, too quick. Yeah, I'll just make little adjustments to my... And I'll avoid the trees, too. That's probably a good thing. So I've done a lot of Morrowind on this channel, and I'm going to do more in 2021. Which I think I actually might now be in 2021. So if I am, happy 2021, everyone. Um, I've done a lot of Morrowind, and... Uh, Oh, wow, you can see... That's super busted. Look at that. So in Morrowind, um... If you clip yourself into the trees or use hacks to get up there, I don't even think they have real collision. I think that they're just, like, pictures of trees, essentially. They don't really do anything. Wait, this'll kill my speed. See, I'm trying to not take any fall damage getting out of this thing. And yeah, some of these trees I'm definitely just passing through. <laughs> that thing. And I took a whole shitload of fall damage. Like, look, can I just... That's total balls, man. How the... You, you fucker, you took your time getting here, didn't you? Personally, I'm worried that your heart's not in it anymore. 
A chase? Don't worry. Look at Keith. Keith? Keith just cries all the time now. Actually, he's become a bit of a drag. Just shut up. No, 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 no. We've got a little history lesson for you. Listen up. Remember Zing He? With his treasure ships out trying to collect riches for the Mings? Remember him? Yes, Mr. Buxer, of course I remember. Answer that like that, right? When I ask you a question, answer me back, all right? Well, fucking Zing He, he's got this captain called Lin Kong. And Lin Kong goes fucking AWOL with his ship's hold at the Chengyang full of Barclays, right? And he settles right here, enslaves all the locals, but Zing He, ooh, fucking Zing He, he sinks his little empire in just a few years. What do you think happened to the treasure? Very good question, young Jays, very astute. Well, the treasure, the treasure, nobody knows where it is. It's not on the boat anymore. Hmm? And Lin Kong, our fucker's nowhere to be found. Treasure hunters have been after that crap ever since. Even the bloody chaps tore the island apart looking for it, but nobody knows where it is. So best not to all chase. Hmm? Chin up. Good luck. <sighs> Hate this dude. Like, they 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 treat him like he's so cool, but like, oh, he's such a cunt, you know? I'm in a cave and waiting to happen. And, like, I say that in the American way of saying cunt. Because when you say Australian cunt, like, that's practically just, that's, that's, that's how you say hello in Australia. Wrong button. Chinese, Japanese, British, everyone's had a piece of I don't want to cause a cave-in video game. I'm in here right now. That seems like a bad... Maybe it's just my frail American sensibilities. They're not even American, just non-pirate. Yeah, I have no want or need to cause a cave-in. I still love that you can hear them, like, click-clocking and stuff like that, just making dumb noises to entertain themselves. Oh, there are more guys coming, huh? Nope, you didn't see me. What about one of that, huh? I always thought that the uh, target mark was a little too busted. Like, you just pop the camera open for, like, a second. And you can, like, instantly know exactly where every single character in the map is, you know? I like this, though. This is a cool shootout. Um... Like, I love having to... Oop, get behind there. I love having to, like, march yourself down this hallway. See? It was that thing. I hit the button, and it doesn't go. We hadn't seen that one in a while. We went a whole, we went a whole episode without me calling out the weird control schemes this has. I'm in a cave and waiting to happen. I'm in a cave and waiting to happen. Any chance I can let go of this uh, fucking button early? Nope. Can't make it go faster, can't make it go slower. How about we just... I wanted this one, but I didn't hit that button for some reason. Like, you guys have seen Rambo, right? I assume you all went and saw it after I told you that this game borrows a lot from it. We're gonna do that.
I know the red, the red, uh, what are those, bandanas? They're very fashionable. I will admit. But man, you're not stealthy. And I had the opportunity to be stealthy. I could have been if I wanted to. I have chosen not to, very intentionally. Sniper's gotta take this slow. How slow are we talking, Jace? Oh man. Okay, that's not as bad. Oop, get up there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can't hit a moving target, right? Wrong. Now, unfortunately, I don't have very much in the way of big, uh, big long shooties. All I've got is this thing, which is... Well, it's the ugly red-headed stepchild of sniper rifles. I'm not even sure if I can hit them from this range with this thing. Oh! Takes a bit of cleaning up, but uh, yeah, I can hit them. Who's next? Nobody? Oh, there's that guy. That's just a regular guy. That's a, that's a guy. What if we just go, man? Okay, that was a lot better. Um, I'm feeling my lack of a sniper rifle here. Like I mentioned that I, I, I feel confident in saying that this game is almost built around always having a sniper rifle. And that me not having one is probably fucking something about the game balance up. What button is it? Yeah, let's see if we can't take you out, huh? Okay, there's one. I think there's five. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Vision's a fucking halo on legendary, man. Okay, that's the guy who's been torching me every time. He is now on fire. So yeah, that was that was the primary problem that I was working with there. He is still on fire. Okay, now he's not. That was a guy who went the distance, you know? Oh, that's a heavy. Yeah, that's some bad juju, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Just a guy. And again, everywhere I go, Voss's pirates have already been here. Unless it's somewhere where a puzzle is, even though I would expect them to get stuck at the puzzle more than anything else in the game. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to think... I might really need to start carrying a either a bow or a rifle, probably a bow on me again, because of this game's reliance on use of trick arrows. Maybe a sniper rifle, but I'm really thinking that I'm probably probably gonna need. Actually, the only reason I'm th th this thing doesn't shoot automatically, so why don't I just take this SVD? <laughs> I 
Fucking trap remix almost started there. Careful, everyone. Shit got too hot. Well, that sucked. Uh, I hope there was a checkpoint. Hell yeah, there was. They, they hit each other in midair. That was the... That was baller. Okay. I'm trying to get up to them so I can stealth attack the one man. Oh, I've got rocks. I do have rocks. Oh my god. They fucking dropped the rock on me. Okay. Well, maybe I can just wait until that guy turns around, huh? Oh, they already know I'm here. So I don't really have the element of surprise as I thought I might have. That's a little irritating. Yes, I lost him. Help me find him. Well, I'm nowhere, dude. You can't find me. This game's cover system is a little uh, finicky, I would say. Not terrible, but you know, could be better. I'm sure gonna find you and kill you this time. Sure, man. What the hell? I see that. I gotta bring the roof down. Do I gotta bring the roof down though? All right, all right, come on. Just one of you come in so I can start the chain. Let's bring this thing to bear. Like, this thing's a problem solver, yeah? That'll, that'll get some shit done, you know? Like, I just, I really want to get my chain takedowns going. I, I love doing the chain takedown. Nice. Ugh, I'm Jason, and I this is I'm so hyped for this. Love that in there. Whoa, whoa! Excuse me. How are they? What is this thing living off of? They need like goats and shit to eat, and like goats eat like grass or, or roughage and stuff. There's no goats. How how did this thing get in here? Does it, they can't climb like sheer walls as far as I know. Dead end. There's gotta be somewhere to activate it. Do you think it might be the hole? And then it brings out the ancient Chinese ghost warriors. Man, can you imagine if this thing was just heading towards the ancient Chinese ghost base from beyond to the uh, ancient underwater goat Chinese ghost base from Beyond Two Souls? 
That was that was busted. That wasn't right. Got turned around there. Bats. So you know what is that Komodo dragon eating? Bats? They don't eat bats. I don't think they can. I think they're too small. I'm not even sure how it would like how a dragon would go around catching a bat. Like Komodo dragons cannot fly. I lost where the snake was, so. That's a real case of uh, spray and pray right there. If I do say so myself. Now, obviously, these ancient Chinese explorer conquerors had uh, American dollars. Why do I get a bad feeling about this? Probably because it's a billion years old and it's made of wood. A notoriously not long lasting building material. This is a really cool shot, though. I like this. It's moments like this where I really feel like, um... Actually, let me... Far Cry 3 has a, a lot of different things going on. And in a lot of cases, those things combine to make a very, very good, like, overall experience. Because it's got, like, um, modern fears about, like, the Somali pirates. And it has uh, Pacific Islander shit. And it has Japanese World War II stuff. And it has ancient Chinese ruins. Not getting out that and, like, Polynesian mythology. Stuff like that, you know? This is one where I feel like it's not quite out of place, but it's, the, it's one of the more out there ones, you know? Because, like... It's not necessarily related to the magic of the island. And in fact, it is an entirely different culture, even though, as we discussed, this uh, island has a lot of different cultures just by default. Another piece of the compass. This place is coming down. But this is this area really it's it's another uncharted. It's another, uh, Tomb Raider. Like, this area is so very much a... Ask not. Um, it, it just feels like another game. It feels like another genre. Here's how to sprint, by the way. Like... Uh, yeah, 17 missions in. Here's how to sprint, just FYI. Escape the temple before everything collapses. Honestly, you're 17 missions in. And that's at least like six hours, but there's also all the bonus shit that you've done, you know? It's probably way more than six hours. That's assuming each mission is like 20 minutes. Some of them are not 20 minutes. Like, I'm on what, episode 12? That's 12 hours. You're calling the shots now? Is that what you're doing? Hector, apparently I'm no longer calling the shots, so uh, dismantle everything and put Keith over from uh, Captain Chip. Wait, wait. Hold on. What was that, mate? You're calling the shots. Hector, good news. Apparently I'm back in charge. Yes, yeah, so don't get Keith. No. <laughs> so, any close to finding me knife yet? Hmm? I'm almost there, I think. Almost there, sir. What, are you serious? All right, almost there, sir. Go on, put the compass piece in. Like, Buck is a guy with right. one knife and a pistol. I'll start off then, shall I? Keep safe. He doesn't have the, he doesn't have the tattoo. He has a tattoo. But yeah, I mentioned earlier that um, you can kind of read Voss and Dennis to be counterparts of Jason. Um, where Voss is someone who has let his brutality get the better of him. And Dennis is someone who has let his 
almost has let the the need or want to not do the main quest get the better of him. But with Buck, it's more like his de degeneracy has gotten the better of him, you know? Like, Buck is this unabashed dude who has all the power. Um, Despite the fact that there's not necessarily a reason he should have it. He just has a guy that I don't remember. Because it's not my brother. And it's not, um... The weed smoker. Yeah, what the fuck does Keith look like? Like, I don't even remember. But yeah, it's just kind of weird. Recall, though, that... Uh, Jason has the tattoo. You know, he has the tattoo. It marks him as a warrior, and it marks him as the protagonist of this game. Dennis has the tattoo. He's a warrior, and he could be the protagonist of this game, but he does not do enough. You know, he allows Jason to do the work. Dennis does not take action. Dennis is, Dennis is too passive. And then, um... Voss does not have the tattoo, but he is so active. He's so violent. He's so base. He's such an aggressor. And so, you know, they, they operate in this weird kind of way around each other. And Buck is willing to let Jason stand back and do work for him, you know? But he's also active himself. And he has a tattoo. He's got, you know, the deer on his chest. And while the deer is not necessarily a power animal specifically, it could be seen as it, you know? You could take it as one. You have to interpretation, but, you know, it's up to you. The thing is, Buck is ultimately very short-sighted. And while he is good at following Jason and getting Jason to do what he wants, he can't do anything else. Whereas, you know, Jason has his three animals on his arm. He's got heron, shark, and spider. Buck only has the buck. Only has the deer. And it's why we ultimately will kill Buck. You know? Because, you know, it's a whole, you know, he, he's he's a prey animal. He is meant to be hunted while he is, like, you know, king of the forest and shit. I've got king of the ocean and, uh, like, a stealth god on my arm. Okay, that one was running away, but he would have come back around. But yeah, it's it's interesting. You can you can very much see the way that characters and their tattoos are used to almost exemplify something about the game itself. And Buck also makes a lot of reference to you're the one playing the game. Now, granted, what he means is. You're the one, you know, making the hustle. You're the one, you know, getting the rakyats to fight the pirates. You're the one driving the force out there. You're the one talking to me and trying to make a hustle, you know? But we are playing a video game. A video game that has uh, a little bit of subversive qualities to its writing. So, yeah, that's why Buck isn't you know, a match for us, honestly. Because he is not the protagonist. He cannot, you know, go all the way out. He isn't Jason. Although, in a sense, he's almost trying to be. Um, this is an eight-year-old game, so I'm not sure I'm going to spoil the ending yet. Um, but, like, if you're in this far, a good chance is because, you know, you're, uh, seeing it for the first time. Although, in a lot of cases, it could be because you're a Far Cry 3 vet who is just wanting to see, not quite a newcomer, but someone who's not very versed in the series take it on, um, especially on the hardest difficulty. Okay. 
or because you're someone who enjoys Far Cry but has a new, uh, you know, where did he go? Anyway, someone who enjoys Far Cry but is now getting a new appreciation for it because of the psychological like aspects I'm taking to it. Because like I've seen a lot of people talk about um, the psychological parts of this game, but they never go as far with it as something like uh, Morrowind or Marathon would go. Where it's like, because uh, like this game has meta commentary in it, I'm just not sure how much meta commentary there is. Compass points down the hill. What? Oh, hello. Oh, that's too bad. History time. Captain Lin Kong's too. A legend has it that this guy, he went all pharaoh, got the locusts to build him one before Zing He came along and sank his little empire. But nobody knew where the tomb was. But, uh, my guess is, uh, hmm? Bon voyage, mate. No problem, I can make that. All right. I don't think loot boxes respawn. All right. Well, guys, we made it. A quarter of a million subscribers. Sorry. Contract and all. You'll forgive me for not including the crappy techno music. I didn't think it was that necessary. Also, yeah, sunken in almost like not quite a crater lake, but like a valley lake like this is called a Senote. But it might be Kenote. Referencing a meme video for those who aren't aware. I never know how versed I should expect people to be. Because sometimes I'm like, hey, here's a uh, overwhelming treatise on Gnosticism. And a lot of people are like, uh, yeah, idiot, I know what that is. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, here's a meme that's popular right now, and the like grandmas in my audience are like, what? what keeps doing that? Apparently I'm like disproportionately popular with the people 65 and up. I don't know why that is. What are they doing here? Did Buck tip them off? I feel like that guy is like such a gimme right there. Just like, hey, do you have the uh do you have death from above? I hope you do. Fetch. Oh, I thought that you were a normal guy. Pardon me, sir. Why not? I've got a billion of these fucking things. I really can't wait till I get the heavy takedown. All right. Uh. The second they step their fucking like nose out here. Oh, I think I just clicked that right in front of me. That sucks. I better take a look. Yeah, you better. You know, just for safety's sake, man. Give a shout if you spot anything. I found him. Oh, man. When do I get heavy takedown? Is it a, um... It might be one of those things that you can't even unlock. Yeah, death room. Soft landing. Boy, do I need that. Shaku. Heavy beat down. Oh, man. Okay. going to be trouble.
Okay, well, let's see if we can't. Nope, nope, I'm not here. I'm nowhere. Because if I can get behind him. Oh, man, but there's nothing actually to let me take care of these dogs. That's unfortunate. Maybe I can just, like, hack at them. And we're like, what, 15 hours in now? It's getting like stuck over there. Whoops! Looks like we made a little fucky wucky there, everyone. Pardon me. You better believe he's not here. Stop searching. You see, look at that. I just popped out of cover for Keep your eyes a open. fraction of a second. And I, I, I unlocked every the locations of 75% of the dudes in there. Give a shout if you spot anything. Nothing here. Must be some devil. <laughs> Did I get him? Oh, you know what? We haven't used the classic AK. Why not? You know, let's throw that dog a bone. See, that's where dual death from above would come in handy. Since there are open face two men there. Now luckily this wood will protect me. I mean to be fair, it, it could be doing better. Oh man, that bullet hole in him. That's not a real skeleton. That looks too weird. If I, if I have time, I'll come back to you, bud. But yeah, that's not a that's a that's a bad looking skeleton right there. I'll do I do say. I love that Jason really has to wrench that fucking knife out of his shoulder. Yeah, let's go into danger. I didn't think that the, all of them would be down there. That was on me. Yeah. Alright, let's go quickly. Now when this guy comes around the corner, we're really going to just troll him here. Oh, man, dude. Okay. I think I know what has to happen now. Knife the first guy. Move to the second guy. Use his knife to take out the guy below and then DBA that guy. All of them, huh? All the warriors. Oh boy. 
That guy's looking over there. This place is like a web. It's like a web. Shit! Ah! Uh! This better not be shooting at me! Get down. Get down, Jason. Let's see if we can get a few of those in there, huh? I'm really missing my body armor in this one. You know, I just, I wish I had it, man. Like, the way that these bullets tear through my naked supple flesh, it's... I'm pretty miserable here. I hate being shot. Fuck, dude. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Alright. Where am I? I don't know. Okay, seriously. Where am I? Those guys are dead. Um, that looks like acid. Definitely not going in there. Wait, it's acid? How? How could there be this much acid? Wouldn't it be just like neutralized by all the calcium in the earth? You didn't get into cover, you know. You stopped moving like there was cover, but you didn't actually get into cover. Yeah, how is there all this acid? Like, I don't think it would be that deadly. Okay. Also, the tooltip just says hot water. So maybe Jason just being a baby about taking a bath, you know? So it looks like the way that I fell into those two guys caused me to... Uh, hmm. This is probably a good bed. Um, that looks like acid. Definitely not going in there. Okay. Now, I have already wasted my body armor down to almost nothing, but... Well, and I pop this open for a second, and... Absorb all visual stimuli that there ever could be to see. I love when they're like, I found you. As though the man, like, firing a submachine gun in a big empty cave is hiding. Oh, man. Anyone else? I'm gonna get one of those up there. Indeed there is fire, my good man. 
I would have thought he would have been more put off by the flames. Yep. Well, can't get back up there, so... Quicker than reloading the save. The line read on that is so hilarious. Like, oh man, I think that's acid. That sucks. You know? What? No. Okay. Much better, Jay. Love this dope music for the nothing that's happening. It's like when a fight kind of fails to start in like Half-Life 2. That's why we love video games. You know? Emergent storytelling. All right. So let's see if I can't... Oop. Whoa! Oh, man, this is really up my ass here. <sighs> Why do they need the RPG man? Yes, that's what I wanted to do, Jason. I wanted to vault over a little thing that you can stand on. So I can plummet down below into some rocks that will kill me instantly. I like the zip noise that it makes. Um, that looks like acid. Definitely not going in there. Jason, I think the island is getting to you. So far, that's a fall. That's why I've been missing one of my hit points, like one of my bars every time I come down here. That's bullshit. Oh my god. The way this game treats health is just banana sometimes. Ugh. So you can't jump while you have the camera open. Bad time to learn, I guess. Can't go back that way either. You be skip. There goes him. See, it's not about aiming. It's that there's just so much lead coming at you. There's really not much you can do. It's like, if you get behind cover, it'll shred it. If you try to run somewhere else, you're not going to outrun a bullet. You know, tactics kind of start to dissolve with a gun like this. Which is why I should probably get rid of it, because I'm starting to rely on it too much. And in addition to wanting to keep an interesting uh, playthrough going... That guy's just jiving. I'm also um, wanting to watch out for stuff like the enemies getting wise to my tricks. There's this thing that uh, Vinny, Vinny of uh, the stream, the stream supergroup Vine Sauce, talked about. Um, while playing Mario, he mentioned that, like, even if he... So 
sorry. Well, playing Mario, um, he mentioned that having a mushroom, you know, having an extra hit point makes him feel a lot safer, and so it makes him play better. Because the knowledge that he can take a hit makes him play more confidently. And it's when he second guesses himself that he screws up and gets hit. And that only happens when he is unconfident. Which only happens when he's missing a mushroom. Um, you can liken it to uh, how you make less mistakes with pencil than you do with pen. This is just you as you understand. That nice mine. But you make less mistakes with pencil than you do with pen because with pencil you know you can go back and erase it so you're not going to freak out as much. But with pen you're trying to prevent yourself from fucking Same up. Door as last time. So you might actually, you know, double fuck yourself there. And that's how the body arm in this game makes me feel. Because you notice that I went through that and I didn't even take an actual hit. I just took fall damage. And that's why I'm at low health. Okay, so now that we're here, let's take a look at this skeleton. I don't think this is human. Open sesame. Man, that's... Yeah. Here's the two mentions. The knife must be inside. What are these pirates even doing here? Like, it's not like they have the super secret magic compass that allows them to open the door. Oh man, it smells like sulfur. That or I have really bad BO. Oh fuck, dude. I thought that was safe. Alright, yeah, last episode when I was like, yeah, we're getting this fucking knife. I forgot about all the shit in between here and knife. Because, man, there's a not small amount of shit. Just swimming in acid. Or, alternatively, that was the quickest case of drowning ever. Gotta be another way. You know, people in video games always say that. I wonder if... I wonder if there ever just hasn't been another way. Like, oh, this thing was destroyed. You know, this this ancient artifact, this, you know, thing. Oh. Is there another way to kill the final boss then? Uh, no. Oh. What? He didn't grab it. But yeah, like... Oh yeah, the, this this sword that can kill the final boss. Yeah, it's broken. We can't use it. Can we reforge it? Uh, no. You know, it'll 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 ruin the enchantment on it. It'll make it so you can't use it. Jesus, Jason. Oh, the water bubbles up sometimes. That makes more sense. <laughs> Loot rucksack is full. Dude, I can't craft a bigger rucksack. It is as big as it could possibly be. So it looks like the cheapest things in here... Oh, now I can scroll. I wonder why. Cheapest things in here are still not worth as much as... Uh, are still... The cheapest, like, loot items are still worth more than the smallest dog skin. Can I go back and get that? Fuck. I bet no one's seen this for hundreds of years. Well, it was James. He's a tourist. He was here, but besides that, no. Like, look at how fucking uncharted this this shit is. You think Buck knows about all the shit that's in here? Like, how much just fucking bullshit is down here? 
What? How is there a snake in here? What What is it feeding on? Well, that's even more impractical. What could you be eating, dude? Like I said, Komodo dragons primarily feed on mammals. It's not like there's goats down here for you to be feeding on. And if there were, what would they be eating? There's no grass. Are they drinking sulfur? This isn't how anything works. Yo, you can shoot it gangster style. That's pretty rad. Oh, you can't running reload with this thing. Let's desecrate this ancient Chinese tomb. There you are. All right. Please, please, please let me live. <laughs> Oh, Jason. How did they build this? Like, this is the same complaint, question, and or concern that I always have when it comes to things like this. How could they have possibly tested this, you know? You're not here. Not this time, mate. Did you find it? The knife? The tomb? Yeah, I have the knife. You're coming. Maybe in my place. Okay. Buck's Fuck Hut. Next stop. Okay. Next actual stop is that I've got to hit a fucking store and buy something. How did I miss a memory card here? Have I never been inside the old mines? That's kind of weird. I have been here, though. That's kind of wild. 29 items. Wait. Can I sort them differently? God, that makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Never mind. I've been lied to. I've just been absolutely lied to. I'm buying the cheap shit because I know that eventually I'm going to run out of cheap shit to buy and then all I'll have is expensive stuff to buy. So yeah, now I'm onto that. Now let's see if I have enough money. I really can't change how it's sorted. That's so stupid. This is something that you really feel is... You can use the arrow keys. Okay, so yeah, you can use the arrow keys and enter and mash through it. That was something that I think was really made for a console game and not a PC game. Because you basically never find, you never actually use the uh, arrow keys for anything besides that. Oh wait. Uh, consumables, there it is. Oh, I'm full, Never mind. In that case, why don't I just buy another one of these, huh? And let's swap this out. Let's trade it for that thing. Why not? All right.
Now time for some relaxing driving. Brook Island. Watch me just Tokyo drift this around this edge here. Narrowly avoid a head on collision. Calm, calm driving. You could take this to driving school. All right. Next, we're going to Buck's Fuck Hut. I refuse to accept any name besides that. All right. Getting over there. Also, Jason has the Rakyat on his side. Couldn't he just ask them for help? Like, hey, I'm dealing with this guy named Buck. Can you find him, you know? Like, let's let's assume that Jason isn't gonna hold him at knife point. Because let's let's recall. Buck is a dude with one knife and a pistol in the back of his jeans. Jason is a Rakyat warrior with a tattoo. And um, four powerful weapons, and an ancient Japanese tanto. I mean, I don't know how ancient it is, but it's at least a hundred years old, considering it was used in World War II. Well, it might only be like seventy years old at the youngest, but still. Don't fuck with me, dogs. Fine. You want to die so bad, I'll oblige you. At this point, very few animals in this game can hurt me. <sighs> what a hassle. Really, Jace? Fuck off, cassowaries. But anyway, let's say that Jason just isn't feeling his odds in a straight-up man-to-man fight with Buck. That's okay. He's got the Rocky out on his side. He's got an uh, he's got an FBI operative who's uncooperative operative, but you know, still got one. Oh man, I really want that. If I follow these blues back here, then I'll probably find a pond that I can dive into, maybe? Or a cave. Or I won't. Or I will! Hell yes. Hell, hell yeah. It's a long swim. I hope there's a shortcut out. That's a gorgeous snake. And now is there a quick way out? 25. There is a quick way out. That's nice. Should've just gone in that way. But yeah, again, Jason is the only guy who does stuff. And like, Buck is so secure of his own power that like, he can just fr like, freely do whatever he wants without running aground of Voss or Hoyt. Don't fuck with me, tiger. You won't live to regret it. I mean, you live for like 20 seconds of regretting it. What the hell happened here? Okay, the last time I said that, I walked up to the water. 
and then a crocodile attacked me. And this appears to be a pond, which is not large enough for crocodiles, but... I just want to be wary of that. Hey guys, do you know what the fuck happened here? Okay, we're here in war boards. And again, I guess Jason is just playing ball with Hoyt so he doesn't have to... So he can get the fucking knife. So he can... You know, get his friend back. Ultimately, the knife seems way more important than his friend. Because recall, as I said earlier, I don't even remember who the fuck Keith is. I'm going to see him and be like, Yeah, the, that you... You found it. Go on. Keep it over. Keith first. Mm. All right. Through the door. The door that will definitely lock behind you and, uh, you know. You gotta hand it to the Chinese. When they disemboweled you, they did it in bloody style. <laughs> Can you imagine getting shivved by this? It's like Shakespeare stabbing him with his quill. Keith. Please, no more. Please, I beg you. I can't take any more. Jason, you gotta get me out of here. I'm begging you, please. You gotta get me out of here, man. I'm getting you out, okay? Yeah, you promise. You gotta promise me. Yeah, look, about that, mate. I am grateful, mate. And, uh, well, I'd really like to show my appreciation, you know. Proper. Like a man should. What an Sick. awful character. Fuck. No, no, no. Actually, what I said was, Keith could leave with you, but you're not going anywhere. We're walking. But if Keith can leave with me, then that implies I can leave you. I'll take you bloody if you like. I like my meat rare. We're here now, also. Yay! He's dead, and there was much rejoicing. Yay! I've got you. Oh God! I killed a human being. You sure he's dead? Everything's gonna be okay. Come with me. I know a place where you'll be safe. Like, why is Jason freaking out there? Is it because he randomly started tripping out and like seeing it in, like, imagining he was in a strip club somewhere? And again, if you have to make an allusion to madness or anything, it has to be Alice in Wonderland. It is a law. Daisy Lee's on all of her here. You'll be safe. Look, just don't tell them about this, okay? I won't. Well, this fuck, man. I thought I could handle my shit, and I can't. Look, you'll come back from this, all right? <laughs> None of us will. I'll get Riley. And we'll be back in Santa Monica in no time. And then I'll be completely normal after having murdered a few thousand pirates. I'm sorry. He tried to escape and they shot him. Keith? I'm sorry. Keith! Please. Hey. Come on, Riley. Man, what happened to you? It's a long story. He was fucked in the ass for several that. days straight, non consensually. And Hoyt, those motherfuckers. Wasn't one brother enough? I'll get them. All of them. I swear. Jason's being totally normal here. Hey. Jason, what's wrong? Riley's dead. He 
you need to process this. Why don't you stay here? I can help. No, I need to kill. I take care of you. Stop making this about us. What are you talking about? My brother just died, and I need to deal with it on my own, okay? By murdering another few thousand pirates and endangered species. Okay. Thank you very much. In a bloodstained ritual of the night, you rescue your party. Bloodstained, or not bloodstained ritual of the night. Um, bloodstained curse of the moon. Uh, it's based off of Castlevania Simon's Quest. Nope, Castlevania Three. Uh, so you play as like a whole party essentially. Excuse me. You play as a party of four people. The Eye Banker. Anyway. But yeah, you play as uh, four people in Castlevania Simon's Quest. Fucking. Castlevania 3, you play as four different people. And you switch between them freely. And Bloodstained Curse of the Moon is based off of that. Um... And so, something you can do in Curse of the Moon, though, you play as the first character, and then you can swap to the, you know, second, third, and fourth. But if you like, you can kill the second, third, and fourth character as the first character, or any combination therein, and take on their powers. And so, you know, they won't have your back in moments where they normally could or would. But you'll have that power. And I almost wish that Sil uh, Silent Hill. Far Cry 3 had that kind of choice. Like, it would, it would make victimizing uh, all the people. It, it would make that, like, more serious. If it's, if it's like, oh man, I saved you, dude. Now I kill you and claim your powers, you know? I will read all of these at the end of the game. I will have a, uh, a big point five episode. And in said episode, I will watch, or I will read every single uh, letter that I haven't. Okay, this is really far. Why don't I just uh, hip hop, hippity hop, and you don't stop. I can't wait to go raiding and looting over there. Citrus Temple that she owns. Oh god, am I going to fight the ink monster? I think I am. I'm going to have to have my finger ready on that button. And you know what? We're going to have an extra long episode. If it is the ink monster, extra long. It's faster. I'm convinced it's faster, at least. Hey, bitches, what's up? I'm glad to see you. The knife. It is in your hands. This knife? I have it. You return to us bearing that which has been lost. What if you just stabbed her right now? What would anyone do? Dead have been avenged. What if he just like passed it to the other guy and he knelt and Leave he us. picked it up? I think Jason's still breathing in the cutscene because he was breathing like he ran into the cutscene, so he was panting from that. And yeah, he's just gonna walk real slowly. What is it you desire? Power. To save my friends. Are you sure? I want to kill Voss and Hoyt. There you go. Honesty is the best policy, especially when it concerns murder. Once, long ago, 
there was a lotus pond filled with clean water. The bank composed of smooth sand. The smell of blossoms moved the air. But a giant lived beneath the pond's surface, devouring any who came to its edge. A warrior from the northern kingdom heard of the giant and vowed to slay him. Painted Tata on his body, power from the land of the dead. And when he was ready, he walked the path of the lotus pond. The giant rose from still waters, and the warrior raised his dagger. He cut the giant's head clean off its body. The skull of the giant fell to earth and became our island. The descendants of the warrior became the Rakyu, our people. Now another giant has risen. Prove you are worthy of the Tata. Was a thousand pirates not enough? Our captive warriors, and I will give you the power you desire. I'll do it. <sighs> Please, Citra, I've killed so many people. Warrior. Yep. I was jumping and running that whole time. So I really like this. You can light your butt on fire just a little bit. Yes, sir. We are leading an attack against a convoy of prisoners taken by Vaz. Wait, what's the plan? An ambush. Go meet the men that you will be working with. They're in church town. They'll be very happy to help you. Presumably. All right, boys, where are we dropping? Oh, I don't want to go to the old mines again. Let's go to the rest yard. Okay. Let's drop some of this shit off. Right. Wait. What do we got in, in here? Uh, we're in shotguns, right? All right. That's another gun completely maxed out. A uh, slam dunk, to be perfectly frank. Oh, you can see the grass again. They made the model for the grass too big, and then they just kind of stuck it on the world. Okay, fine. You want to die so bad, I'll kill you. Like, I'm just walking through. Disgusting. Can't go to the grocery store without being attacked by a tiger. Now, it makes no logical sense as to how I'm somehow able to double the amount of tiger pelts that I get from one tiger. Like, you'd think that's like creation of mass, right? Which is impossible. Technically creation of matter, but maybe they're just very light. But yeah, uh, I don't know how that works. There's a lot of impractical magic shit you do with the Tatao. It doesn't actually make a lot of sense. And like, it does literally make you like stronger than it than you should be through magic. It makes you faster and uh, quicker and better with guns than any human should be, you know. But also, somehow duplicates the amount of loot the the, the amount of loot you get. Like the Tatao can also. Increase the number of American dollars you find when looting dead pirates. I think this is the first outpost I cleared, which is pretty cool. Everyone, get to your positions. 
It's good you're here, Jason. Vasa's trucks pass through town. We have to plant the explosives to block the road. Give me the C4, I'll do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> so odd, you know? You don't have much time, Jason. Oh man, really? What button is it? It's four, right? Yeah. Jason! Plant the C4! C4 planet! That's, not C that's dynamite, dog. Hello? Hey, Jason, it's Lisa. I'm kind of busy. What's up? Just letting you know that the boat's coming along. When you back here. I'm not sure. You are coming back, right? Yeah. Okay. See you soon. They don't understand. So again, people representative of the old world. You know, they're they're all like. They're like, they don't, they don't get it, you know? Oh, fuck. Uh, I didn't turn the sound back down because, like, there's a bunch of important stuff happening, so, you know. Aw, oh, shit, man. Look, I got distracted. Also, I'm on the ladder. <laughs> Sometimes the way this game decides the game over uh, criteria is just a little funny. Because now there's no timer. Jason! Plant the C4! Hurry! C4 planet! Convoy's on its way! Hello? Hey, Jason, I would like Lisa. it if, um... Kind of busy. What's up? Just letting you know that the boat's coming along. When you're back here... You know, the, the sure. audio's still you up, so I'm gonna... Back, right? Yeah. Okay. Soon. I'm gonna let them talk. I would like Don't if, um... Because they have a whole thing about how, like, oh, anyone can be a rock yacht. That's why Dennis is, even though he's, you know, he's from he's, he's from America, right? The very top of the water tower, or the hello? The convoy is here. I'm triggering the explosion. Those guys aren't pirates. They don't look like bosses, men. Shit. Are these guys? These guys look organized. They look like soldiers or something. Let me just turn this down. This is really loud. So something that I think I would like. I would like if if the Rakyat were more even more diverse. Because like we've got all we've really got in terms of like diversity for them is all of them are one race, and then you got Jason and Dennis, who I think are both Americans. I can't remember. But yeah, I think it might be a little, um, what am I trying to say here? I wonder if you can put mines down to make your job a little easier. Yeah, I would like it if it was like purely random. Like, because even if only, even if anyone can be a rock yacht, most of them are the same. Like, most of them are very similar. Like, a lot of them also even have the same like face and arm tattoos. And part of that is just like a uh, a gameplay restriction, you know. Whoa! 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 Down there, down, Jason, go. I'm going after it. Don't worry, Jason is here to save the day. Oh, that probably would have made more sense, huh? Like a whole lot more sense, you know? So yeah, we're now seeing a new combatant as well. As mentioned, these guys are not pirates. They are much stronger men. They have a lot more focus, a lot more attention. They're not constantly trying to rape, pillage, and burn stuff. 
they have actual body armor instead of just t-shirts. And they wear yellow instead of blue. I mean, instead of red, but like Jason wears blue. See, these guys are privateers. They're a totally different, they're a totally different thing. He's so ridiculous, you know? Also, never mind that I've been shot quite a lot. And uh, one, 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 uh, one good old deck to the jaw. Oh boy, here he goes again with this shit. Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again. Expect it. Shit to change. Like trying to kill one guy over He's and over again. Crazy. But the first time somebody told me that, I don't know, I thought they were bullshitting me, so boom, I shot him. The thing is, <laughs> he was right. And then I started seeing it everywhere I looked, everywhere I looked, all these fucking pricks. Everywhere I looked, doing the exact same fucking thing. Over and over and over and over and over again. Thinking this time is gonna be different. No, 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 please. This time is gonna be different. I'm sorry. I don't like the way you are looking at me. Okay? You have a fucking problem in your head. Do you think I'm bullshitting you? Do you think I'm lying? Fuck you! Okay? Fuck you! It's okay, man. <laughs> I'm gonna chill here, man. I'm gonna chill. The thing is, alright? The thing is, I killed you once already. And it's not like I am fucking crazy. It's okay. It's like water under the bridge. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Oh, Jesus. No. No. Oh, fuck you! So as well, um, boss showing his... Showing his hand there a little bit. He is... That is very loud music. Um, Like, that is still very loud. Minus 11. Um, Voss's whole deal is that, like... You know... He's trying to mix stuff up. He's trying to be different. He's trying to be the change that, that he wants to see in the world, you know? And so he's showing... Sent out. Or possibly can out. So, you know, he's doing his whole thing, and he's like, Jason, I'm going to be different. Oh, hold on. Hold on, everyone. There's a relic here. Everyone knows that there's always a cave behind a waterfall. It was a law established in the Geneva Convention. There's a waterfall in a video game. There's got to be a cave behind it. Relic here? Not hearing the theme of relic. Oh man, it's there, isn't it? So yeah, we're doing a no gear level. Ain't got no legs. I mean, guns. We had no guns. There it is. Because the game is very aware that, like, at this point, that must be where it took the warriors. you have so many fucking things. You know, you have so many guns. And, you know, you have your playstyle. So, like, I have melee stealth until, you know, I go crazy. And just murder everyone with uh, with machine guns. You know, that's my whole thing. That's that's my gimmick. It's my charm point. You know. And they've realized, like, yeah, that's fine, but the video game isn't going to be hard if that continues to be the case. You know, because we're not going to be able to keep challenging people repeatedly with stuff like that.
Man, he wasn't supposed to see me. All right, next time he won't see me. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Episode's being cut here. This has been Far Cry 3. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. Happy 2021. Uh, I'm going to continue playing this game until I beat it. So, bye. See you guys later.